Graffiti can be a lot more than just ugly vandalism. It might also be a death trap. It may sound hard to believe, but someone seen painting them over could be marked for death or injury. Mary Garofalo is in our newsroom with the startling results of her investigation. Mary. Well, Rosanna, there are many types of gangs in our community, the Bloods, the Crips, the Latin Kings, but a Fox 5 investigation has uncovered the evolution of yet another gang on the street. They don't wear their colors, rather they paint them on the walls and subways. They are graffiti gangs, and they say touch their work and be terminated on site. If you cross out my, sh my stuff, I'll hurt you and my friends will hurt you. Graffiti is more about respect. Everybody's, Everybody's gonna, gonna die. TOS, you might have seen the graffiti on the street, but what does it mean? Terminate on site. You want to terminate them. You want to kill them, right? You want to get rid of them. He calls himself Corn. It's not his real name, but his tag name. And this is his work. He wanted us to protect his identity because he's been in trouble with the law many, many times. I'm a punk. I'm, I'm anti-society. I don't like the government. I don't like the police. He's part of a disturbing new breed of graffiti artists who will literally die for their work. They call themselves graffiti crews. Cops call them gangs. Yeah, we're, we're a gang, I guess. And at night, while you sleep, they're leaving their mark all over the city. Chase from chase from chase from what do you do? Armed with spray paint and video cameras, they document chase their every move. We're united by graffiti, you know? So we got Crips, Bloods, Latin Kings all within our own crew, you know? If you write over me, you're writing over my whole crew too. And you're gonna have a massive amount of people looking for you and gonna kill you, you know? This is an example of what could easily cause conflict and violence between graffiti gangs. Here in black, someone has spray painted over someone else's graffiti. It's called buffing or ragging the tag. If you cross them out and you, and you, and you write over their tag, they're going to let you know that it's, your, your day's coming. You don't want to kill anybody. But sometimes you get hotheads that don't know when to stop. Corn introduced us to his crew. At first sight, they look like the walking wounded. Two were on crutches, victims of a gang beatdown. I've gotten beat, beat down by kids twice my age, you know, but you know, I take it and I'm... Enough I'm, to go to a hospital? Uh, yeah, of course, of course. What's, uh, what's happened to you? Knocked out teeth, my foot right now, you know. They are an eclectic group made up of street kids, computer whizzes, and even members of hardcore gangs. Like this guy, who says he's a crip. His graffiti colors are his gang colors. Of course, always silver and blue felons. And if you mess with them... Beat them up, stab, shoot, whatever you gotta do. And this crew has been videotaping whatever it is they have to do, including their fights. On this videotape that we were given, watch as one gang beats up on another simply because they've buffed their tag. Yeah, beat him down, little man. Beat him 